Yo, what's going on guys? Ghost here, and today we're going to be ranking Nickelodeon cartoons and shows. So, real quick, I'm going to be talking about some stuff. If you guys want to continue on with the video, there's going to be a time on the screen that you guys can watch um, the regular rankings, but I have some things to talk about, so go ahead. Alright, so if you stayed, um, basically I was gone for right around 9 days, and I'm going to go ahead and explain that. So, basically, I was deepening my faith with Christ and, you know, God and all that stuff because, you know, I've been reading two pages of the Bible almost daily now. I've been praying daily. I've been keeping my faith with a lot of things. And, you know, that goes past YouTube and I'm doing more productive stuff now. And, you know, being productive and doing good stuff are two different things, but I'm working hard to improve myself as a person. And, of course, that's going to take time and I'm hoping you guys can stay with me. So, Welcome back to the video. Um, if you guys want are enjoying, you know, my channel so far, this is gonna be a follow up to the Cartoon Network ranking video. I was like, why not do another one on uh, Nickelodeon? So, we are on the road to 150 subscribers, by the way. If you guys can hit the subscribe button, you know, maybe even leave a like on this video, it would be greatly appreciated. So, with the first ranking on this video, we have the Goat Show and with the baddest chicks. When I was young, I had the baddest crush on Paulina and Ember like they're the they were bad dude and this show was so badass man I mean if you gotta think Danny Phantom could you imagine you're fighting someone right and all of a sudden you see a ring go around them and he turns into a fucking phantom that shit was so badass as a kid man that's an automatic S tier this show was absolutely perfect for the time so next we have avatar the last airbender this show is an automatic s tier i love avatar so much it is such a good show um of course there are going to be more avatar sh shows on here they got avatar right here and but avatar was perfect for the time and karate you know all them people in the show absolutely perfect i love the character development i loved like the deep bond between them and it really was made me sad. That show made me sad a lot because of a lot of the plot points. I'm not going to like say what happens in the show because a lot of people are not going to watch it or haven't watched the show yet, but it's it's sad. Okay, so next we have Fairly Odd Parents. Um, Fairly Odd Parents. Amazing show. I'm going to rank this around an A tier. It's not really S for me. You know, this was an absolute classic, right? When you think of Nickelodeon, you think of Fairly Odd Parents. Like, it's, it's the like bottom line show for that um network but it's it's just i can't really rank it as high as danny phantom and it's just not as badass as some of those shows up there you know i like badass plot points where it can be funny and do all that stuff but it's definitely one of the most funniest shows ever i mean you got two of the fairies and one little dude and basically the fairly odd parents perfect i love it um drake and josh okay um my opinion has changed on this show as the years have passed. Um, unfortunately, we can't get, you know, um, a remake of this show, unfortunately, because one of the actors did something bad. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that here. Um, but basically, I'm going to give this ranking of this show a mid C tier. Okay. Um, Drake was. Drake was just really weird in the show, but Josh did this show perfect, man. Um, Josh Bell filled this show perfect, man. Um, but with the next show, we have Breadwinners, okay? Um, you have Sway Sway and... <laughs> Wait, let me read this name real quick. I had to... I'm going to go search up his name real quick. All right, I had to search up his name, dude. Ram Bam Boo, okay? This, guy, this guy's name was absolutely so hilarious in the show. You have T-Mid and, you know... Sway Sway, hilarious show. But I'm still going to rank this show around a D tier. I didn't really keep up with the characters as much as people would think. But this show was so fucking hilarious at the time, dude. And next, we have Alvin. One of the most classic shows. That's a mid B tier for me. Okay, the sh voices were funny. The development was funny. But I don't know. It just seemed really awkward. Like, when the actors were talking to the chipmunks. I mean, I just don't know. But that's where I'd rank that. Um, yeah, Fanboy and Chum Chum. This show was so fucking hilarious, dude. Um, 
I don't know if you guys ever played um Nickelodeon Block Party, but they're the best characters to use. I always use Fanboy, and I would have the CPU use Chum Chum, and I would just go after him the entire game in the Block Party. Hilarious show. Next, we have Henry Danger. Okay, I watched this show. Everyone's seen it. I mean, I've mostly just seen it on YouTube about how were people were wanting more shows. But this show, mm, I'm going to rank it about a D tier. You know, it wasn't really a good show. I was going to rank it F, but, you know, I did. I enjoyed this show for the time. But it just wasn't that funny. You know, it felt like a more of like a sitcom than it was an actual funny show, Nickelodeon show. And I feel like a lot of people can agree that that very terrible humor and where they're going Every time he'd say something, it would just, you know, do the organic or, like, the traditional, ha, like, where the entire people laugh. But we're just going to move on from that. Next, you have Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold, an absolute classic. That's a easy S tier. Like, one of the easiest S tiers I think we had in this video besides Danny Phantom. And that Hey Arnold was absolutely a childhood classic. I think... It's not better than Rugrats, but it, it's definitely up there in the in the classic, okay? But next, we have Jimmy Neutron. Now, this show was a B tier, okay? Um, a lot of people are going to hate me for that ranking, and I'm totally fine taking the backlash. But I don't know. This show felt annoying at times. Like, you would watch, you know, you'd be, you'd come off like SpongeBob, and then you'd get Jimmy Neutron. The intro was an absolute classic, and then you'd just land on some of the more intro-ish type things and it just kind of got annoying you know but we're not gonna hit, stay here and banter about jimmy neutron all day um next we have next we have avatar the legend of Korra. okay and let me just get this out of the way asami from the show was absolutely so bad dude um but i'm not gonna sit here and keep talking about how bad all these characters are but you know that's an automatic guest here. I love this show. I, again, I would love a, any Avatar show, except for the live action. That's the difference. I hate the live action. But, you know, we're just going to keep moving on. Um, the Loud House. Now, this show felt a little annoying at times. You know, it's they keep pushing this show so hard. When they have absolutely classics, you know, SpongeBob, Barnyard, all those good shows. Um, Ninja Turtle, Power Ranger, you know, all the people, you know, Alvin... But listen, Loud House was an absolute childhood classic. You know, it was a, it came up around 2014. Let me fact check that real quick. I was wrong. It was around 2016. But this show came around around the same time as this. So I'm going to put it around the D tier. Um, it wasn't that perfect of a show. A lot of people say it's like up there, but it, I don't agree with that at all. So next we have Planet Next, we have Planet Sheen, okay? I had to um, fact check the name real quick because, you know, these little pictures, I can't read and remember the, the names of each show, but I know I watched it, okay? You have, oh, what's that little green goopy guy's name? He's, he looks like, um, what the fuck is his name? That dude who reminds me of him, Carl Weezer from the show. Goopy. I knew that was his name, Doopy. This show was so hilarious. That's basically off Carl Weezer, but Sheen... This show is absolutely hilarious. This is a Gleason B tier. I love Doopy, man. I know you guys remember from Jimmy Neutron. He was like, why you give me a dollar? No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, next we have Power Rangers. Now, Power Rangers, this show was such a classic growing up. It was, I didn't really, you know, like as much of this show. But it was definitely a classic, and I could find myself watching that a lot. So that's going to be an A tier. And y'all got to be honest with me here. The, hold up, let me find it. This motherfucker was badass, man, from the fucking show, dude. The Black Power Ranger was so badass. He had a little fucking gun and shit. All right, that's, come on, come on. It was a perfect show. All right, so next we have Rabbids. This show is everywhere, okay? But it's not as good as a show... I'm going to put it C tier. I didn't watch as much as this. It's basically just like little short episodes of just these little guys acting around for a little bit. They were funny in the games. That's why I can't rank them any lower. But next we have Rugrats. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, do I even have to explain myself with that show? That one? Okay, hold on. A little controversial, but, you know, that's where I'm going to rank the Rugrats, okay? No, I'm sorry. One last time. Putting it S tier. Rank. That's where I rank Rugrats. Next, we have Sanjay and Craig, okay? Sanjay and Craig, this show. Sorry. Where'd that go? I don't see it. Sanjay and Craig, okay? This show was not as funny as people I've been up to be, but it was very silly, okay? I think it reminds me of a little snake show. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm going to rank this about a B tier. Okay, so next, listen, all three of these next shows are going in last tier, okay? All of them are just absolute classic, some of the best shows we've ever had. Do I even have to explain myself with those? I mean, they are all S tier. Like, listen to this lineup, okay? Tell me you guys wouldn't watch this. Danny Phantom, Avatar The Last Airbender, Fanboy and Chum Chum, Hey Arnold, Avatar The Legend of Cor Korra, Rugrats, SpongeBob SquarePants, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Barnyard. Like, come on. That's the best lineup, like the all-time lineup you could ever have, okay? But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys can go ahead and support me by, you know, subscribing to the YouTube channel. Also, they're changing. I'm also changing a few things up with the channel. I'm going to be doing more uploads recently. So if you guys want to catch some of those uploads, make sure you turn on the hit the bell so you guys can get notified for those types of things. And I, I'm gonna, this is Ghost, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.